been a minute. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm sorry. Every day, Anthony's like, big clips for today. Let's, Let's go, go dog. Big clips video. It's been a little, it's been, just been a little busy, but we're taking a little road trip up today. Oh, this is the new Bass Pro Shop. Oh, I saw this on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a big deal, everyone, because California, Southern California, I don't know about Northern California, does not have Bass Pro Shops. If you don't know what that is, Maybe we'll go there in this video. We'll just go, we'll just go suss it out. I love Bass Pro Shops. It, it was all over our Instagram that this one just opened up. And I think that, I think that was it. We're going to go buy matching hats. Bass Pro Shop logo hats. Those were a thing for a Big long trend. Time. Big trend. I was, I'm happy to say I was never on that. Same. Trend. Never bought one. You kind of strike me as the guy <laughs> who would have bought one. Are you sure? Maybe today. You're not lying. <laughs> uh, we're making a little road trip to McGuire's HQ today because they're doing a learning day. Uh, we do this every single year when they release new products. We come down to their classroom and they pretty much show us all the new stuff and show us how to use it. And it's a pretty relaxed, fun day. And I thought I'd bring my boys. Yeah. And uh, I think a few other uh, YouTube -y friends are going to be there, aka Throttle and Dustin. <laughs> so let's go say hi. Oh, the wall of shine. It's only one day. This is my office. Come on in. Let's go. Hey, there's a table there, Nate. Have a seat wherever you want. Did you class in it? I got this. I got this. Confused. Don't don't film no 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 sus clips on my camera, Dustin. We're in class right now. So just super easy to use. The other thing you notice too is if you're not a complete wizard making your paint perfect before you put this on. It will fill and add gloss and darkness, kind of the DA hit. Some of the drinks are still over there. Um, and then if you want to run to the restroom, and then we'll do some hands-on time over here. Cool, cool. I saw Dustin pick his booger and wipe it under the desk. I didn't get it on camera, though. Oh, a little overexposed. Why so real? Crash. But if you kind of power through that first. What is that? It's my new camera. That is not your camera. What do you What do you have to say? Um, this facility is amazing, hey, stop by the way. The influencers, okay? You know. <laughs> All right, today we're here at the McGuire's demonstration booth. We've got a headlight. We're gonna be using the new McGuire's Ultimate Headlight Restoration Kit to clean this old headlight, make it look brand new. You ready? Remember, does it foam as good as a traditional Ultimate Snow Foam? Because it's not designed to be that because of the ceramic properties in it. But it does do pretty good considering how much protection it's gonna give and properties. Even at that, it's still foaming pretty good. Yeah, it's foaming. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. You guys do it every day? Because every one of your cars gets done, this done every day, right? Okay, so if we look now, that was just the wash. We didn't put any kind of base or anything on it. And pretty drastic difference. <laughs> Pretty night and day difference with just a wash. You know, people talk about drying a car, drying a car with water. It, we've done this for years, but essentially, you know. You're using water to dry the vehicle. And then you'll see right where we come over here, it, it totally changes and it doesn't work. As yeah, that's how it's done. <laughs> Is it actually dry? Go touch it. This hood's got to have like two inches thick of Wow. No, no, we stripped it off. We stripped it off. We're doing a demonstration on the hybrid ceramic wash and wax. It's pretty impressive. You'll see that there's like a gradient of different types of damage. You'll see kind of these straight line scratches. 
Um, there's a lot of, we took a wool pad and, and, and scratched it up for, yeah. <laughs> Camera scratches, you know, <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find on a panel. So what we'll do first to kind of get the pad kind of seasoned, what you generally do is I'll put it on lower speeds and get it started. And you wanna try and get all the product like a little bit better spread on the pad. When the pads are, are cold, they're not as soft. So I'll give it, I'll kind of kick it up, put it on speed three, and I'll just kind of work that area up a little bit. And you'll see the amount of product that's staying on the surface. It'll start to look less wet and a little bit more clear. So I'll run that for about 30 seconds, just kind of work an area. And that's usually how I'll start, to just kind of, when I first do a new pad, just kind of get it spread in there and get it a little bit more even. So, some of these scratches are gonna be too deep. We'll just be able to get a, like a decent idea of see how much like darker it is already. But you're also gonna see where those sanding scratches, like you can see there's still the deeper stuff. That, oops, sorry. <laughs> that, that's an example of like where you would want compound to go after the deeper stuff. Whereas you'll get more of the DA haze out um, with just a polish, you know. But look at like, see, look how gray that is. And this is also using, that's, that was at the compounding pad. Right, so if like you're going for the ultimate finish, then you would want to use like a polishing or a finishing pad. But you can see how much difference in, in darkness. So this would be the stuff that like in a pro shop or whatever, I use this for several things. One is if I'm compounding, and sometimes if it's hot out especially, your compound wants to dry more, this just makes it so easy to wipe off. So I'll just mist, you know, anywhere, and I just use it kind of like a wipe off aid if you will, just to get the compound, it kind of softens it. The other thing that it does is that it's gonna have um, something to take out excess oils. So sometimes you can get some light filling from an oil and maybe not see the true finish. Like if you're going for like flawless for a show car and dark color, you might wanna make sure you check your work with that to get that polishing oil out. Cause there might be some light little haze or defects that you're not seeing and that oil could go away after a wash or something, and then it's popping back up, right? So that's just a way to get a true read, and then also before the coating, to get a clean surface so it can bond. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. That's good stuff, right? Ricky, you have some of that in your toolbox. So you'll see that like, it doesn't come flying out like a, 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 mm -hmm. a, a really runny one, so I kind of tap it against the surface. Also, when I'll put it on, and I will we'll kind of twist it, and make sure, similar to how I wanted to make sure the polish was evenly on that pad, I'll do this, and it'll give me an idea if I have enough or not, if, if I'm running out of product as I'm spreading. So that means it's still kind of not enough product um, on the corners of the applicator. So I'd go back and add a little bit more. That's my indication that I, I don't have enough on it. What's the, um, the different layers? Like it, I'm assuming that's deliberate in a lot of ways, right? Because usually it's like a little foam block, right? That's usually oh, what they okay, give you. It's yeah. like a very, so, so this one has like it, it had to do with like the amount of compression that you get. This is actually the same foam as our cutting pad. And this is the polishing pad. This is a different type of foam altogether that just added some rigidity to it. And it was just because we wanted to be able to, to push the little bit more pressure without causing any kind of damage and, and really get that in there. You can see it's, it's not a difficult wipe off by any stretch. Like that's pretty much clean and ready to go for the bottom. Um, we'll leave some just to come back and kind of show what's, how long you can get away with not wiping it off. Can't go to a clean side and keep using that towel and, and get you know, more uses out of it. But we can leave this and we'll come back in like an hour and you'll be able to wipe that right off. Cool. Okay, there you go. That's right. Keep spraying it hard, keep spraying, keep spraying, keep spraying. Okay. We used that on this side. No, we already did. Oh, you already Spray did. water on this side. See the oh. difference? So that's the easy part. Go back and forth if you want. Oh, he's good at this. Yeah, there you go. Look at those thumbs. I'll get it out there. Yeah. <laughs>
So the challenge is how do we make this easy to work and not smear and not streak, all that kind of stuff on the application. Okay, that's the trick. So we'll let you guys play on some windows on that, but we just wanted to show you the characteristics of that water repellent that you're gonna get out of it. Okay. Durability, to your point, it doesn't last forever. But again, we said earlier, keep coming back clean and every time you clean and reapply, you're re-adding it essentially like is what you're this, doing here. The, what you're seeing like where the water is like the little mini beads are there, it, once you get above about 30, 35 miles an hour, the wind will yeah. grab it, yeah. gather it, and that's that self-cleaning that pulls it, it right off. off. And this is already 3,000? Yep, already 3,000. And again, see that? We wanted to show you what it will and won't do. So that's what's called crazing. So over an extended period of time, the damage will literally get inside the plastic. Like there's no fixing that. Like as far as without fully replacing, so the crazing part, that's, that's like a really old super damaged headlight that's been through it. Like this came out of a junkyard, right? Um, but in terms of the yellowing that will occur, uh, occur on the surface, and that just happens within the first handful of years, that's what you can fully clean off and fully restore back to clear. And your light, even with the crazing, the light output that you're gonna be able to get after putting this on is a massive increase. Are we doing half? Uh, no, go over the whole thing. Okay. So that, the reason why you see it like instantly get glossier like that, that is the coating that's, I'm sorry, the sealant that's going to fill that in and that will cure like that and stay clear like that. And one of the things that was kind of trick about this chemistry is that it's a self-leveling chemistry. So even though you're gonna have maybe some minor white marks when you start, like you can see a little bit of waves from the white, as that cures, it levels out and will go perfectly level and clean wow. and clear. So that haze was just a leftover from hitting- That was from sanding. Right. So you, yeah. So how, that, how how did that just make it go clear? I don't understand. So it's basically filling it in. So when you see, like, it, like for example, on the panel when we're polishing, when it's gray to start with, uh -huh. what you're seeing is little scratches that refract the light differently, mm -hmm. and it appears as white, right? Mm -hmm. So to your eye, that dulls from black to gray because you're mixing in that white. And so when you sand something, you're basically taking it from a, a, a smooth surface and you're adding all these different angles that refract that light yeah. and make it so it becomes opaque. Whoa. Yeah, so Damn. then when you put that on there, it fills that back in and makes it clear and you can see through it again. So you could actually take like, um, you ever seen like frosted glass? Like actually like we have the frosted glass over there. Yes. If you went and stuck like a clear 3M like tape on that, it'd make it clear because it fills in the, the texture and then wow. you can see through it hmm. actually. So. Um, instead of misting some big fine mist, I'm gonna actually just be a few inches from the surface. So I'll kind of show you this, this first area, but you don't need to wait before you start working with it, but you'll start to spread it. And if you come look, if you guys come get some angles, see the oil, you can kind of see uh, like, a, like a smeary kind of look on the surface. This is where, you know, that difference is of trying to get this coating to actually activate and start to cure. So I'm just gonna work it into the paint a little bit longer. You can already see it's pretty much going clear in the area I've wiped it a few times. And so I'll just kind of check it from some different angles. And after I've done that, I'll flip to the dry side and just do like a final buff like that. And you're done. Who wants to go next? This guy right here. Yeah, yeah. I miss a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so that's the wet so side here. This is where, so that's where I would use first. So I would, I would probably work right about here. You could do like three sprays. Don't do the whole hood because we gotta let everyone kind of have a go at it here. Here you go. Perfect. I think I'm on a little hook right here. This is the wet side. But you can all still, still see that. Like, you see that it's not going clear right away. That's, that's fine. That's, You've now started to activate that curing mechanism, and, and as you hey. keep working that area in, it will get a little bit more clear, a little bit more clear, and then it starts to get it's pretty darn clear. Yeah, they invite us up here for lunch and we keep their vehicle clean for them. <laughs> yeah, we're well, supposed right. to point that out. I was to the first. Yeah. We got three more after this. <laughs> no, 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 Is he lying? You got a direct blast. No, closer. <laughs> no, no, no. 
closer yeah, than now, that. Now we have overspray all yeah. of here. Now we have all the towels. Who invited this guy? Well, my side's gonna be the best side. Look at that. No, no, no. 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 Oh. <laughs> It's cleaned off. No, keep going. There goes keep working that until it goes clear. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you flipped it that early. Wow. <laughs> Premature flipper. Is this clear enough for you? Yeah. Well, except for the overspray you got. Oh, yeah. You got to read your mind. See you guys. I had my time for today. So. Go hang a You want to see something pretty cool? One, look who's center. Me. Center. <laughs> All right, let me, let me show you a little, a little special so Easter egg inside this Meguiar's building. Watch this. You want to see this? Oh, what's that? Oh. Not, not that crap. AI generated. Carbon fiber weave is pretty thick. Yeah. I see a couple of things that are pretty wrong here. Um, um, it's fake. We're doing a big group photo. They literally got everyone from the corporate building. Pretty cool. I'm really hungry. That's all I can think about right now. We're gonna do a big, massive group photo. Bag of treats. Our learning day is concluded. See you next time. But before we leave, <laughs> they're gonna sign. I can put chalk. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna sign the board. Going, Wall of shine. Yeah, this, this guy shit on everybody. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I F1 car. Oh, the article of the Diamond. This one? one? That one right there? 24, sir? Mickey. That guy probably did Mickey. Like three seconds. Mickey. Look, I can't even get the year right. 2023? Yeah. <laughs> That's when we signed with them. Mm. Yeah. He's oh, trying to make it no. seem like he signed a year ago. Yeah, they didn't sign. Year. They signed in like 2021. No, look at this. I'm actually 23 12, 12, 12, 12, Oh, 23. okay. Well, you guys going to sign your wall. We're staring at a wall. Let's go, Nate. I mean, it's not just any wall, TJ. <laughs> What's it say? Nate, that's a good spot. It's my signature. What's it say? My name. What did you die? It literally says my name. <laughs> it says my name. Did you do the date? No. I didn't. I should have, huh? I should have. You should have. Let me do a date. What's today's date? The second? It is April 4th. April 4th. April 3rd. April 3rd. Second. That's like April 4th. Yesterday was the first. McGuire's day over. Now we go home. It's hot in here. It's very hot. This is the first hot day we've had. It's almost 80. Home or Bass Pro Shops? This video is brought to you and sponsored by Bass. I'm just kidding. It's not brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. But if you don't know what, hi. <laughs> if you don't know what Bass Pro Shops is, I'm about to blow your mind. It's like I don't know how to explain it. I'm twine about to walk into a car. I see him. I see him. Okay. I see him. It's the best place on earth. It is the coolest place ever. Oh look! Welcome to Bass Pro Shop, brother. Let's head on inside, show you what we got. Why don't you come outside, follow me, I'll show you a good time. They got Winchester, they got they got all types of ammo. They got your grandpa's 38. Yeah, I I, I got my, my first revolver. Oh here. my god, it's insane. Want a fireplace? Oh my Sick. god. Look at this Holy shit, I didn't know it was like this. You never been to one? No. Oh, Tom, we've never been to one. Wait till we get to the... Oh my god, dude. Here, buy something. It's like, I'll probably. Fry. I'm gonna go buy some pants. A jacket? Some, some pants? I'm gonna get it. Yeah! So you can't yeah. We're gonna leave here with a hunting license. <laughs> oh my god, it is massive. Doesn't it just make you feel like a man, brother? Oh look, they have their, their hats. Wow. Alright, pick one out. Here you go, Nate. $5.99 today. You're officially a douchebag. $5.99 today. <laughs> They're five dollars? The white? The white's kinda clean. You will never catch me in a basketball shop sack. <laughs> won't, won't be me. This is my section, dude. They're in like weird sizes though. Oh, right here, L32. I'm like a 30 though. The, the real tree? They're all 32. That's hard. You're not a 32? This is crazy. Sick, but there's better ones. There's always like five 
wild videos of people coming and jumping in this stuff. <laughs> Yo, jumping it, a thousand dollars. I'll give it to you right now. No. Banned for life of Bass Pro, no. not worth couldn't, it. Couldn't, for couldn't do it, no. Gotta be more than a G-bar. All right. Not worth. Yo, this never happened, bro. <laughs> oh my God, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> clips video I've ever done taking you guys to a doctor's appointment and I'm dragging Sabrina along with me because she's a professional at doctor's appointments the lighting's too dark in here I'm using the big camera the big camera's so tough ooh RS6 that's kind of oh, cool that's not an RS6 definitely not an RS6 go straight here. definitely not an RS6 okay maybe the Porsche was a rough choice yeah here. one time I came here in the C8 and it took me a minute to get here did you check the C8 here? no not yours mine oh Oh yeah, rip, rip that car. I'm not gonna be able to take the big cam in there, but I'm definitely bringing you guys along for my doctors. Sabrina's POV. TJ has been pacing the office. We're the last patients here. He's pacing and he just told me if they have to take blood, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> Bro. Your girl is in here having full-on brain surgeries, and you're scared of a little blood and she bead is a warrior. <laughs> I do. I, sorry, brother. I do not like it. I don't want to be here. Can I go? Here, here. Let me pinch you like a little needle and see if all it is is like this. <laughs> that was so hard, and that was accurate. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Doc, I gotta go. Is it the blood you don't like or the needle pinch that you don't like? The feeling of the needle going in and it's raining. We'll pass out. Look, I'm a little baby. So I'm a little baby. Don't do well with it. I'm a little baby. I can see it all day. I can, I really want to do it, but have it down on me. Don't touch me, I'm sterile. We've made it into the room and TJ can't stop fidgeting. In case you guys were wondering why we're here, TJ, tell them why we're here. Well, my girlfriend has cancer. Boy, did that scare us. <laughs> I haven't been a doctor in eight years. So now she's awesome. forcing it upon me. Here I am. Damn. Check me, doc. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ew, what was that? The latex look. <laughs> I saw the mirror. Someone I scared myself. <laughs> I think I got that. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys. Your boy is healthy. He doesn't have cancer, so that's a good thing. That's a sour joke on this channel. You said. Isn't it? You're allowed to make jokes about it. Okay. Well, we're leaving. We're the last ones here. Dark. Doctors always take. Forever. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Nate and Anthony's house. Because apparently, apparently, Anthony made a new recipe for chicken wings. And he's like, they're so good, you guys have to try. So Anthony's cooking dinner tonight. So we're going there and we're gonna try out some chicken wings, baby. Front lift is on. Let's try to not explode my lip. Windows down because it's a vibe. It's hot today. I haven't not worn a. I've worn a sweatshirt in every video in the last literally three months. I can finally wear a t-shirt again. Oh look, someone did donuts in this cola sack. It was me. It was me. TJ's so happy to be out of that doctor's office. Oh, I I'm, can tell you're like hyped. <laughs> oh god, I yeah. <laughs> All right, we're done here. <laughs> But I did tell them about your wings, Tuan. Yeah, what's up? I Thanks. did tell them about these wings. Okay, so this was a, a tick, about this was a TikTok find, but it was like half my modification, half a TikTok oh, recipe. Uh, I made them for myself on Sunday night, and they were the were best out. wings I've ever had in my life. And we're all wing fans over here, so I. I uh, is there anything else other than wings, or is it just wings? Um, 
<laughs> hey, it's orange. It's just wings. It's, hey. it's, wing, it's just wings. It's, you know, it's, it's just wings. Normally, there's usually wings and something. I didn't think about a side. Tom. I didn't think about a side. Uh, either. You guys are fools. I, oh my this is God. Tom's plan. Okay, you know what? We can me, we can figure something out. We can figure something out. It's just wings. Wait, Twan, you oh, this only is bought chicken. <laughs> Twan, you only bought chicken. Just wings. Yeah. Nothing. Not like corn or a rice maybe or rice. Maybe rice. maybe rice. Like we have rice. We have rice. We have rice. We have rice. Chicken and rice. Hey, hey, that was my bad. Let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have fries in the freezer. I want no. that. I don't think so. No, that was chilly. Friends got soup. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my! She leaves me with none. I need that. It's made of burnt. Uh, all right, chicken wing review coming up shortly with no sides, no sides at all, just chicken wings. So after this, we're gonna go to dinner. My review on Tuan's chicken wings. My review on his chicken wings. They were a good flavor. They were really small. <laughs> okay, good night ladies. Good night, Kevin. Let me just say this, I think smaller wings are better because it's like a one bite and the smaller the wing, the more sauce to chicken ratio there is, opposed to a big wing, right? Cause you take a bite out of a big wing and then you have all kinds of like unseasoned chicken or like a small wing and it's all in there. You know what I mean? It was a victory point. Also, I won a Catan. I beat, I beat TJ, number one. I was watching it in my show. I was, it was I the would... first time Twan's ever won. That's not true. All right, because you guys, other clips, fam. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret that I haven't told. I'm not gonna tell, sorry, it's dark right now. I'm turning the light on. I'm not gonna tell this to the main channel. So you guys are the only ones who get this piece of info. Did I close the garage? I did. I just dropped, well, I didn't do it, but Calvin dropped my Mark V Street Hunter Supra off at West Coast Exotics. I am putting that car up for sale. I know. Don't, don't even, don't say anything down below. I don't like, no, don't sell that car, don't sell that car. I'm gonna put it up just because there's a lot of stuff coming. And when we get back from Ebisu, you guys will be kind of filled in on what I got that's coming. And there's really big plans this year and I just have too many things. I have too many things and I feel bad for just not driving things. Like right now I have my C8 for sale, my S14 for sale. I don't even want to tell you, there's, just letting you guys know, my Mark V is for sale. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna regret it, but I just don't drive it. It's been on display at the Magnaflow corporate building. It's been like in their lobby for the last like five months. I just don't drive it. So it's up for sale. And if anyone's interested, they're probably not gonna list it for a while, but if you are curious, you can probably start hitting them up in secure before it even like goes live on their website and before I even announce it, if anyone's like, yo, I want that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna price it at 70 grand. And that's, that's actually like a pretty fair deal considering other wide bodies that are out on market being asked for right now. And with the turbo kit, the wheels, the fresh paint, the PPF, it's a steal if anyone's looking for a Street Hunter Supra. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to upload more clips of videos. I know it's been kind of dormant, but the new editing style we're doing just takes so long for the main channel for episodes to get filmed. Like it takes like five days of filming to get one episode. Um, Cause we're just having fun doing that right now. So there will be more clips. There will be more clips, clips videos. Wow, that was a tongue twister for me, but I don't know, I, I'm gonna put it up, and if it sits for like a few weeks, I'm probably gonna take it back and be like, mm, I'm not gonna sell it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you boys in the next clip vid.